Step forward. No one's going to do it. No one can do it but you. Come on out. We're with you. Congratulations. We said you could make it. Our future counts on you. Do not be afraid. Have faith. Dare to go for it, and we shall stand by you. What? Is there something wrong? You're messing up everything. If you can't do it, you should not have taken it. Do not be conceited. Step down. Take the blame and resign. We do not know why we are all deceived in first place. Do you find the above conversations familiar? Have you ever been the accuser or the one being accused? Either side might feel disappointed, lost, regretful, angry, or betrayed. If I had known that, I would not have counted on you. If I had known that, I would not have accepted your offer. I only have myself to blame. They proclaimed, "Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord." A few days later, when the chief priests and elders had incited them, the Jews who gloriously welcomed Jesus into Jerusalem now chanted, "Away with this man!" Release Barabbas to us! Crucify him! Crucify him! We humans are so unpredictable, with such easily triggered emotions. Have we ever taken part in condemnations like that? I wonder what Jesus thought. What did he feel? Wouldn't it be difficult for him not to be disappointed, or not to feel the pain? However, Jesus did not run away. Neither did he argue with the crowd nor blame anyone else. Despite all those unfounded allegations, he remained silent. Was that because he felt guilty? Was he a weak coward? Why did he not argue for what was right and fight for justice? Is God not the God of justice? The reaction of Jesus was truly incomprehensible, unless he could see that blaming each other and quarreling with them would not help him achieve his goal. Instead, he remained calm, held back his inner pain, and remembered his love and obedience to his father, and his loyalty to his mission. He chose to remain silent and accept injustice to fulfill God's mission. His choice, however, is difficult to comprehend at this age. We may consider stepping outside of the box, which includes our way of proceeding and culture, thinking more from the perspective of Lord Jesus, and humbly ask Him to teach us His wisdom. Then our troubles may become fewer, and the problems that we are facing may become easier to handle.